Hello, this is a video related to basic basics of high performance liquid chromatography commonly known as HPLC. HPLC or high performance liquid chromatography is an analytical technique used for separation, identification and quantification of a chemical mixture or simply we can say that a, so it is used for separation of uh, mixtures. HPLC is a form of liquid chromatography. It is also known as high pressure liquid chromatography. HPLC is distinguished from traditional liquid chromatography because its operational pressure are significantly higher or it may be called an automated version of a liquid chromatography. It may be called is an uh, automated version of liquid chromatography. It is in fact traditional liquid chromatography mechanized to get conditions that provide enhance the separations during shorter periods of time. In high performance liquid chromatography HPLC the stationary phase is a solid or a liquid and the mobile phase is a liquid. The principle of HPLC Principle of HPLC is based on adsorption as well as partition chromatography. It depends on the nature of stationary phase. If stationary phase is solid, principle is based on adsorption chromatography. If stationary phase is a liquid, then the principle is based on partition chromatography. Or simply the mixtures are separated by using the principles of colon chromatography. But in HPLC, highly improved separations can be achieved. In HPLC, higher separation efficiency is achieved by using specially designed colons and high operational pressures of mobile phase. In HPLC, the colon, in HPLC, the chromatographic colon, which is made up of st stainless steel, and it is tightly packed, tightly packed with very small particles as stationary phase. It gives a much greater surface area for interactions between stationary phase and the components or molecules which are flowing through it this allows this allows a much better separation of components of the mixture here in this picture Two columns are there. Two columns are there. One column is classical column chromatography, and the other is column of HPLC. We already told that in HPLC columns are packed. Columns are packed with small particles. Here you can see that the columns are packed with very small particles as small as 3 to 10 micrometer and the mobile phase contains components which are to be separated flowing through it flowing through this colon with high pressures it is around 40 to 400 bar pressure this pressure this high pressure of mobile phase pass through this colon with clear and reasonable flow rate. This makes good separation 
with short period of time that is due to the uh, high pressure of mobile phase with a reasonable flow rate makes good separation in hplc with short span of time but in classical column chromatography the chroma column is packed with large particles having size around 150 to 250 micrometer and the pressure exerted only by the hydraulic pressure of mobile phase or by the use of low pressure pump column chromatography is separation but the separation is very poor as compared to hplc and this column chromatography is also take long time for separation on account of the use of high pressure of hplc this high performance liquid chromatography is also known as high pressure liquid chromatography so in high performance liquid chromatography we get good separation within a short period of time but uh, within short period of time as compared to normal classical column chromatography in hplc a solvent or a mixture of solvents along the column with high pressure induces a differential distribution of components between two immiscible phases this in turn induces a differential migration of components along the colon and thereby affects separation this is a picture of simple hplc unit next instrumentation and flow diagram of hplc here in uh, hplc these are the different parts of HP and simple HPLC unit. Here uh, the sol mobile reservoirs, then solvent filter and degasser unit, solvent mixture unit, then there is a pump, then injection unit and uh, syringe. It is used for the sample injection. Then the main part of this HPLC is colon and it is kept in a thermostat and the other unit is detector part. Then there is a uh, uh, data processor and uh, recorder part. Then the, uh, and the other one, uh, fraction collector or reservoir part. So this is the sample, it's, this is the uh, instrumentation or flow diagram of simple HPLC unit. Here in HPLC, the HPLC apparatus is provided with one or more glass or stainless steel reservoirs each of which contains 500 ml to 2 liter of a chosen solvent. Each solvent is then passed through suitable filters and degasses to remove dust and dissolved gas. That is, this solvent filter and degasser unit is used for the removal of dust and dissolved gas, which is present in mobile mobile phase suppose we not doing this part it would interfere the performance of colon and detectors so this solvent filtration and degassing is very very important in hplc so this solvent filtration and degasser unit is used for purification of mobile phase simply used for the purification of mobile phase then the other part solvent mixture part the required composition of solvents or mobile phase is mixed by using solvent mixture unit the mobile phase after mixing the mobile phase is then lead led to the pump led to the pump where it is compressed to the required high pressure is it in it is in between 40 to 400 bar pressure then the next the sample is introduced into the colon along with 
mobile phase by means of an injector unit or injection unit the samples which are to be separated is injected by means of a injection syringe here here a valve equipped with a sample loop of the appropriate size reproducibly injects the required amount of the sample into the flow path then the colon it is uh, approximately it has 10 to 30 centimeter long 10 to 30 centimeter long and 4 to 10 millimeter inside diameter and it is made up of either heavy walled glass tubing or of stainless steel tubing it contains a packing of say silica or alumina of particle size 3 to 10 micrometer it is then kept in a thermostat to maintain the desired temperature for separation this this colon is maintained or it is kept in a uh, thermostat for uh, desired temperature of separation differential distribution of sample components between packing material and the mobile phase brings about differential migration of components along the colon and thereby affects separation after emerging from this analytic colon the separated components passed through a detector the common detectors Uh, common detectors are uh, based on the measurement of optical absorbance or fluorescence or refractive indexes of the emerging uh, of the uh, emerging components sometimes a combination of different detectors are used the signal from the detector is analyzed and recorded by a computerized data processor and recorder sophisticated data acquisition and analysis systems are available for all detector then here uh, then uh, the separated components that emerge from the detector lead into waste reservoirs when the method is used for the analytical purpose on the other hand they are led into fractional collectors when the method is used for separation as well as analytical purpose so this is the instrumentation and instrumentation and flow diagram of HPLC here uh, we conclude the things which have uh, discussed in um, instrumentation or the flow diagram part or flow diagram um, in the previous slide here each solvent is passed through a suitable filters and degassers then the second the mobile phase or the solvent is then lead uh, first to pump where it is compressed the required uh, compressed to the required high pressure and uh, then to the chromatographic colon then the sample is introduced into the colon by means of a uh, injection unit through a uh, syringe then the differential distribution of sample components between the packing material and mobile phase brings about a differential migration of components along the colon and there affects the separation after emerging from the analytical colon the separated components pass through the detector the signals from the detector will be analyzed and recorded the separated components that emerge are led into waste reservoirs when the method is used for analytical purpose on the other hand they are led to the fraction collectors when the method is used for separation as well as analytical purpose so these things these 
things have already uh, discussed in the uh, instrumentation part in the previous slide already discussed so these are the different uh, uh, different processes uh, different processes uh, carried out in uh, hplc then what are the different hplc modes first this hplc can be classified by the phases that means by the uh, stationary phase or uh, mobile phase so there are two types of hplc based on the phases that is normal phase hplc in normal phase hplc the stationary phase is a polar part and the mobile phase that is solvent it is non polar in reverse phase hplc the stationary phase is non polar and the mobile phase is polar so based on phase the hplc is divided into two normal phase hplc and reverse phase hplc in normal phase hplc stationary phase is polar and mobile phase is non polar and the reverse phase hplc the stationary phase is non polar and mobile phase is polar then based on the operation the hplc is classified into two analytical hplc and preparative hplc in analytical hplc no recovery of individual components of substance and in preparative hplc individual components of the substance can be recorded so in analytical hplc uh, we can uh, we can uh, uh, identify or we can uh, determine uh, the number of components or number of uh, molecules which are present in uh, the mixture but by using preparative hplc each component or each molecule of a mixture can be uh, recovered or be uh, can be uh, analyzed and uh, recovered so this is uh, the uh, classification of hplc with different uh, with uh, phase and similarly with based on the operation next the applications of hplc the hplc is a uh, highly sophisticated technique for the separation of uh, components from mixtures that's why this hplc is used for is used for majority of all uh research labor all uh, uh, research uh, laboratories it is maybe in biochemical research it may be in clinical research it's pharmaceutical research or to in chemical research uh, all the, the applications of uh, hplc is very vast then the major applications are in drug discovery purposes then in clinical analysis purposes in proteomic studies and in forensic laboratories drug metabolism study cosmetic analysis pharmaceutical applications and environmental studies in chemical and biochemical research and it is also in uh, food analysis these are the major applications of hplc then thank you